In this video, we're going to be covering how to set up your job costing. This is a great way that CadLink will tell you exactly how much it's costing you to print each shirt. First, we want to go into our queue properties. If you double click one of the queues that are open, you'll simply come into queue properties here. We can go to other and click on costing. And now we can go through and set this up. Now, the first thing you're going to see is material cost. So if your queues are set up, to be based on a specific type of garment. You can enter the cost of that garment here and make sure that you have that set up per unit or how much it's costing to print each shirt in this case, or per square foot or even per meter. We're gonna leave that as none for now since we are using our cues as general, it's not specific to a certain garment. Now the next thing we're gonna see is surface treatment cost. Now that's another term for pre-treat. A good average to put in here is gonna be around 35 cents if you're looking to just put something in to have a placeholder. Make sure that you do that per unit, so that's per uh, shirt that we're printing. This is how much it's gonna cost us on average for pre-treat. Now you can do some math and make sure that that's dialed in specific to how you're putting pre-treat on and what pre-treat you're using. You also have options to set that up per square foot or per square meter even. Now the most important factor when we're setting up our costing is going to be the ink volume cost. Now this is going to be the bulk of the cost obviously of printing and this is the one I want you to pay the most attention to. First, double check and see how much you're currently spending on ink and you can choose to set up your costing per liter or per milliliter. Do a little bit of math and then you can enter in the specifics down here. Now what's really cool is if you use per milliliter, it allows you options like if I'm running my printer using some refillables for uh, just my white ink and then my color and black ink, I'm using seal cartridges. I can make sure that the pricing is really dialed in that I have the most accurate costing per print. Now the final section is gonna be this guy down here which is getting really specific to your business. And if you wanna add uh, ink contingency to this, for instance, you can add a percentage on top just to make sure that your additional costs are covered. You can even put things like labor costs, different tax brackets, and even time costs in here. It's a really cool thing that allows you to really dig in deep and make sure that your pricing and costing is really dialed in. However, at the bare minimum, I wanna make sure that we have our ink volume cost and our pre-treat cost set. Now, a trick is that we can click this update button. What this is gonna do is it's gonna update all the cues that output to the same machine with all this information. What that'll do is save you a ton of time because all you need to do is to go into, for instance, your white shirt cues and change your surface treatment cost if you're not pre-treating white shirts. Or some people like to just leave it the same because sometimes they may use pre-treat on certain white garments and not use it on others. Now, the final thing that we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and click OK, and that will fully save everything and our costing is now done. Okay, now I've brought a design into CAD link so that we can showcase how the job costing is actually working. So what we can do is I'm gonna rip this job. Now since we're not gonna print it, we're not gonna come in here and tell it to print, we're just going to rip because when a job is ripped, that's when we're gonna actually do all the calculation for job costing. And what's interesting is this happens every time you press print, it's first gonna rip or process the job and then it's gonna send it to the printer. So we're basically doing that first part, but we're not gonna actually print the design. Now, once it's done ripping, or if you're printing when it's done printing, you'll be able to hover over the job and you can see the job cost here. Now, that is just a quick overview. If we wanna dial in exactly what this was costing, we can right click and go to job properties, click other, and then costs. And here you'll see all the very specific information. So, our material cost was 35 cents. Our total ink cost was 79 cents, we'll call it 80 cents, and that brings us to the total cost of $1.15. You can see that, we, that we're gonna print four and a half milliliters of white ink, so that's where the massive majority of the cost per print is gonna be for us on this specific design. So what's really cool is we can edit on the fly if we wanna add additional things to this. We can print, we can export as a CSV, we can do all kinds of different things from this window here. But if you wanna really see what this job costing is, you can dive in here deep. Now again, we have the option to just hover and look at the overall job cost, or we can dive in deep by going to the job properties. So that's a quick overview on how to set up and utilize your job costing with CadLink. 
If you have any other questions, make sure to reach out to Polyprint or you can reach out to your Polyprint dealer. We're always happy to help and excited to see what kind of things you're able to do with your TextJet printer.